Hi, Mike here. Welcome to Paz Model Workbench. Um, as you can see from the title, this is a final on the small scale group build. But before I get to that, I want to uh, thank Dan over at the 60s Rule channel, Dan Deman. Uh, he sent me a uh, shop card and the medallion for the group build, the psychedelic 60s group build, which I have not yet completed, but he was kind enough to send me the medallion uh, before I finished it, so uh, I really appreciate that. Um, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, uh, my wife has some health issues, and they have gotten a little bit worse lately. I mean, it comes and it goes. It's, it's all over the place, so we can never really plan um, timing wise on anything and uh, sometimes she'll go six weeks without a transfusion and uh, now in the last three weeks she's had six units so it's just all over the place but uh, we're muddling through um, anyway that's that's going to make it hard for me to uh, plan to properly do group bills but I'll hang in there. I love doing the group bills, and I'm going to continue to do them. And hopefully I'll get most of them done on time, but we'll see. Uh, so anyways, I just want to thank Dan for the uh, shop card and the, and the medallion. And his shop cards are so cool. They've got, they're double-sided, as you can see. And his channel is just fabulous. He does a little bit of everything. He's uh, just great at building, uh, building models. And he's got a lot of... Uh, great variety of kits that he does uh, so i'm sure most of you know them but if not just go check them out for sure i'll leave a link in the description so with that i will uh, pause the camera and we'll get on to the um, small scale group build so quite a jump from the washed parts trees and so on to where i am now i wanted to take uh Little time to videotape this uh, I've got everything pretty much painted in the solid colors I've got the, the body done um, and what I have to do now is a lot of the detail painting I've got to paint the underside here pick out all the detail the engine then the exhaust and battery and uh, there's the floorboard there is uh, wood grain so I think I'm gonna try to paint that up as wood grain and I've got the chassis components done I have to put all the wheels together and uh, paint the spokes and sand down the whatever seams there are in the wheels and probably repaint those too um, but I just wanted to give you a quick look this has been uh, just a great little kit I put some uh, panel line accent on those seats and they really came out, I don't know if the camera shows it, but they really came out leathery looking. I'm really happy with that. Uh, but like I said, it's a very simple kit and probably won't take too much longer to get together. So I just wanted to put this quick little segment in here to show you where I am uh, in the build before I go on uh, to finish. This will probably uh, be it until I'm finished with it because there's really not that much to it. So uh, until... Uh, the next uh, update here, I'll uh, talk to you soon. So this is the kit I built for the uh, small scale group build. It's the uh, AMT 32 Ford in 132nd scale. And this kit is just great. It's it's a really, it's fairly simple, of course, not a, not a ton of parts, but it went together no problem at all. There was not one fit issue uh, at all with it. So. Uh, without any further ado, let's take a look at the completed model. So the green, <laughs> every time I do these videos, I, the green is much brighter in the camera than it is in person. In person, it's, it's very much an olive drab, which actually looks, I think, a lot better than the picture does, the, the video does. But um, 
like I said, this kit went together flawlessly. It's just a really nice little kit. A fun build. No fit issues. No problems with it. Uh, just, just a great kit. So, I, uh, the only problem I did have with it, and my fault, one of the lens fogs fogged up and the other one didn't. I don't know what I did. I'm using a glue that dries clear, doesn't fog up the lens, so I don't know if I touched it with the glue on my hands, probably what happened. I don't know, but uh, that was the only issue I had with it, and that was my fault. So, um, I do. I meant to black in that horn down there. I got to go back and do that. Just black in the inside of it. I put the decal on it. Uh, came with a variety of different uh, decals you could use, and this one I thought looked good with the brown body. So. I went with that, um, and like I said, I, I have no complaints whatsoever about this kit. So there it is, all done and ready to put in the, on the shelf. So I just want to thank uh, Sean over to Scale Model Car Guy channel and Brian at BG's Model Workshop for hosting this this uh, build small scale build it's it's a lot of fun i've done it uh did it last year and i'm gonna do it next year if we have it so uh, thank you guys for for hosting this and i will have a few uh, pictures at the end just uh very few during construction so stick around for that i really appreciate you watching and uh, i'll be back to you hopefully very soon Bye.